Hello guys, today we're gonna prove that the area of this part of body segment is two thirds times the area of the pink rectangle. But before jumping into our problem, we first have to find the equation that describes our parabola. In other words, we know that this parabola has its vertex centered at the origin, so it is described by this function f of x equals ax squared. And we chose a parabola centered with its vertex centered at the origin because it's simpler to prove our formula. But this formula works for every parabola with its vertex on the x-axis. So we can move it back and forth, back and forth, and this equation will still work. But to do to simplify all the calculations, it's better to work with this specific parabola with its vertex centered at the origin. Now, the area of our parabolic segment can be described by the difference of the total area, that is the area of the rectangle, minus the area underneath the parabola. And we can call it, for example, AP. So we have to find what AR and AP are equal to. First of all, let's start with the area of the rectangle. We know that the area of any rectangle is given by its base times its height. In other words, this length right here is the base, and this length right here is its height. But these points are coordinates C and minus C. You can call it whatever you like, I chose C, but it's not important. And if this length is C, B is going to be equal to 2 times C. And the height is just the value that the function has at the point minus c. In other words, h equals f of c. So we can substitute the height and the base into our formula, and we get the base 2c times the height ac squared, and this product is just 2ac cubed. Now we have to find what is the area under the parabola and every time you talk about the area underneath a curve well there is an integral there and in fact this is the integral from minus c to c of our function f of x that is ax squared dx and since this part here this area here is equal to this we can write it as two times the integral from 0 to c of ax squared dx. Just to simplify our integral and make things easier. But uh, they're equal, so they're the same thing. And we can do it because the function, our parabola, is symmetric respect to the y-axis. So we now have to solve this integral. This is very simple. We can move a outside the integral sign since it is a constant. So 2a times the antiderivative of x squared is just x cubed over 3, just the power rule for integrals. And it goes from 0 to c. So this is just 2a c cubed over 3 plus 0. That is 2 thirds times ac cubed. Now we have a formula for the area of the rectangle and we have a formula for the area underneath our parabola. So we can combine them together into our previous equation. So let's make the substitution. We have that the area is the area of the rectangle, to, so 2ac cubed minus the area underneath the parabola, so minus 2 thirds ac cubed so this equals 3 and we have the numerator 6 ac cubed minus 2 ac cubed this equals 4 ac cubed over 3 this equals 2 thirds times 2 ac cubed and Notice that 2ac cubed is equal to the area of the rectangle. So we can write this as 2 thirds times the area of the rectangle. And we are done. We have finally proven that the area of this parabolic segment is 2 thirds times the area of the pink rectangle. And this is an astonishing result for me because it is very simple, but you know, 
it's always two thirds times the area of the rectangle no matter what the parabola is but remember the vertex has to be along the x-axis if you enjoyed this video leave a thumbs up share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below until next time bye